back guys to the Spurgeon Piper. This is Wilson with you. So today we are talking about pipe bits. Now I'm not sure how familiar you are with them. If you're new to pipe smoking, maybe this is brand new. You've never seen these before. Intermediates, advanced guys, I'm, I'm sure you are familiar. Uh, pipe bits are something I used a while back. You know, I don't know, a year or two ago. Used them for about a month. Stopped using them and just recently got back to using them. So I'm gonna get into why I stopped, why I got back into them, and why I'm probably gonna stick with them. So let's get into what they are, their purpose, all that stuff. Uh, pipe bits or stem bits, I think you're usually gonna find them to be rubber pipe bits. You'll find them on most of the main tobacconists or tobacco stores, outlets, online, um, and I'm sure your local tobacconists will have them as well. Uh, but they are meant to slide over your stem, so let me just throw one on real quick. I here have my, let me put one pipe down. Here I have my dark ale, rat rays, and they slide over like so. This one's quite easy and I'm gonna get into that in a minute. But they slide over just like that, like a sleeve. Okay, and now the idea is to mainly protect your pipe, your stem, like right? when you're clinching. If you've ever noticed on your own pipe, or maybe if you bought a, an estate pipe, seen some pipes at the antique store, you'll notice that over time they will get uh, teeth marks on the stem. It's not real attractive. Um, ideally, we don't want that. Uh, now, depending on how you smoke, that may not be an issue. If you're one who uses your hands usually, um, or if you have lighter pipes overall, you're naturally going to probably clinch less but still it's something you're going to be prone to so though they're not so attractive pipe bits are ways to help protect your stems from uh, causing damage uh, to or, or your teeth to causing damage to your stems so that is the main purpose of them all right so that that's why i bought them in the very beginning I wanted to protect my pipes, and so I started using them. I bought 12, and they're like two for a dollar, two to dollar fifty, somewhere around that range, depending on where you buy them. So I bought them for almost every pipe I had, and I put them on. And one thing you notice as you begin to use them, of course, is that your clinching is you know you have a wider jaw. So most of the time, you're gonna have a wider jaw and. If you're not used to it, you may get a little uncomfortable, especially if you're quite hands-free. So after a while, I stopped using them. Uh, but recently, I got back to them. So uh, here's why. Uh, one is I was talking to my dentist, and especially my front teeth, um, on the bottom of them, they are quite thin. Um, and you can actually tell, not on the screen probably, but if you're looking at my teeth, you can probably tell they're, they're thin on the bottom. So I'm talking about my front teeth there. And he just mentioned, hey, be, be careful. Um, in the future, there may be issues there. And I'm, I forgot why that's a problem or why that occurred, but um, he, he brought something up about it. But um, it did give me pause on, okay, well, when I do clinch in front, which I don't always do, but I do occasionally, um, that might pose a problem on my teeth. So I have noticed in the past that clenching can cause my teeth to have a bit of soreness. Um, not not terribly so, but enough to be noticeable. And I, I want to protect my teeth. Lately, I've been going through these health videos um, this summer 2021, and that's something that's been in my mind, keeping my mouth healthy my teeth healthy and that is one reason why I did get back to them so not so much for the pipe itself but for my teeth health so that's why I've gotten back to them about a, now a month month and a half and I think I'm going to stay with them uh, now if you're new to these let me tell you just a couple of things uh, one when you buy them uh, they may fit your pipe stem awkwardly uh, depending so most um, here's a Peterson system most they're gonna fit really perfectly snug like so like this um, they, they they don't slip off whatsoever they're quite tight like if I want to take it off of this stem it's a pretty you know it's pretty snug it, I, you have to work to get it off this is the design I think uh, would say but then you have pipes like this dark L where boy it can really slide off quite easily is that a problem not necessarily and it's because the the, the stem is quite thinner on top um, but then it gets even can get even worse or it could be more problematic where they're almost not useful 
And let me take this beautiful Ashen Stew 20 pipe I have. And I would really like to protect this stem here, but these do not fit well at all. Like it, it, it slides down quite easily because it's just a, such a small, uh, small stem. And so, I mean, it, it doesn't hold at all. So bear that in mind if you're going to buy some. Um, it may not, if you have a smaller stem like this, it, it may not hold well. Um, now, I know there's others who bought like a type of tape to tape around them. Great. That's awesome. Never done that. I'm not going to talk about it because I don't know any better. But, but for these, that might be a problem you run into. Um, and then secondly, as I mentioned for myself, be aware that your jaw may feel uncomfortable for, for a while. Uh, the, the position the, the, of, of your clenching... The difference there, it, it may cause some, you know, the muscles that you usually don't use so much in your jaw to be overused and therefore they're sore. Just like if you're working out or running, you're sore for a while, your body's getting used to it, and you're going to experience that in your jaw as well. So um, with that said, right now I'm going to say I encourage them. I'm going to see how long I go with using them. I may get to a point here in a month or two or longer and go, you know what, they're so uncomfortable. Don't really enjoy it, what have you. I'm, I'm going to stop using them. At the moment, I think they're fine. And the other thing about them, of course, is they're they're not picture perfect, right? I, I think most of us like the idea of having, you know, no pipe stem or a uh, pipe bit on them. And we like to look without it because it does look better, right? Um, however, I guess if you're really wanting to impress someone, if you're going out in public and you really want to impress those guys at the, the pipe club or if you want to impress someone at the... You know, coffee shop or what have you you know you want to show off your pipe maybe you just that that's a special occasion where you take it off and you use it without it but uh if you're usually smoking by yourself or regular company and you don't really care about that you may be just better off having them on so that's the purpose of pipe bits and that's why i want to start using them um, i think for my health and for the sake of the pipe stems themselves um, i think in the long run i'll be happy they're a cheap cost uh, a cheap uh, you know they're, they're not hard on your pocket and you can buy enough to cover your pipe collection with you know little uh, little up front so there you have it guys if you have questions or comments if you use them let me know if you don't use them and you have used them well let me know why you stopped because I'd like to know myself um, I, I think that's something that'll be helpful for others to sh share and to learn from other people's experiences so guys, I hope you have a great week. I don't know if I'm going to have a tobacco review out this Friday. Uh, things have been kind of a little crazy on my side of things. So I'm, Fridays have not been consistent. But hopefully I have one out. Uh, but I hope you have a good week. Um, and until then, we will talk to you soon.